Shalom family once again you're welcome you're welcome to this particular session of course it's your friend and your sister Dr. Irene I bring you an amazing and an awesome word from the Lord want to thank all those that are checking in already to this particular session happy new week to you of course of course I love you so much and Jesus loves you even much more and the Lord gave me this word that I should give to, that I should give to somebody you're connecting to me right now on this platform the Lord says I should tell you let it go he said it clearly he said i should tell you that you should let it go now this is the picture god painting to me i see you right now you having a lot of regret you know there are sometimes that after you've done something after you've done something probably uh it has even been more than a year it has even been two years past but each time you think about the decision that you make, you keep regretting. And the reason is because since you made that particular decision, you just realized that everything started moving backward. Everything began moving backward. Now, at the end of the day, most time you sit and you feel like, does it mean that the decision that you made, was it that your decision was wrong? Was it that... Um, um, probably you, you you choose the wrong thing or you choose the wrong path but it is the enemy that is doing that he keeps bringing these thoughts in your mind to make you to regret your past to regret and sometimes you even go to the extent of feeling depressed you don't want him to talk to anybody you don't want to even even discuss about issues that to discuss about the issue because the enemy keeps tying you to the past but i want you to know that your past is in the past and the law says i should tell you this it was not a mistake you didn't make an error to leave that particular place you didn't make an error to leave that particular town because right now you're regretting you're like probably if you were still in that same town your life would have been better but god has to tell you he didn't make an error it was his will it was his plan and it was his purpose and he is still in the process of leading you to your promised land this is the same thing that happened to the children of israel after they had left egypt and they came right up to when they were in the wilderness they felt like probably they made a wrong choice to have followed moses out of egypt they missed a lot of things that they could not find there in the wilderness they asked moses was it not why didn't you leave us in egypt to be able to be eating our cucumber and our garlic but the place where god was taking them was not the wilderness the place where God was taking them to was the promised land but to get to that promised land they had to go through years in the wilderness and the Lord says I should tell you you are just going through it you have not yet arrived and he is not yet done with you and he says I should tell you stop regretting live in your present and in your future with your God in the name of Jesus Amen